Hey guys, this is Bsat Investing. Um, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we have a lot to cover. We have news from um, what was it? Neptune Digital. We have news from Bitfarms, and then the crypto prices just dipping uh, before market opened, and uh, we have to go through all that and. Um, I also bought some stocks today, so I put in $300, and we'll go through the stocks one by one. So, um, so the first thing we'll do is the stocks, right? So, uh, currently we're sitting at $5,345, and we are down, I want to say, 5% if this will load. So, we're sitting at 5%, and today what I bought is... Um, I bought some banks, uh, I bought um, NDA, and then if you look right here, there's a new stock right here, that's DMG. I picked up some DMG shares, so it's only $100, but uh, it's. I just wanted something like an entry price just to get my feet in the door with this company and then just slowly add positions here. So let's look at the activities. So this week's turning out to be a busy week um, because we're obviously seeing a lot of um, a lot more red uh, days kind of for crypto. Um, we're seeing a lot of huge percentage downs. So I feel like it's a really good opportunity to do buy now. Um, we're setting two month lows for some of the companies and I, uh, I just think it's a really good chance to get in. So today what I did was I deposited $300 and um, it was instant because I have the premium service here. So um, so I bought NDA at 117 and about 90 shares. Now if you look at the time, I would highly suggest not to follow my suit. Um, I bought it right before closing, which is never a good thing. Like... Uh, I just wanted to get in uh, bef before the weekend because, you know, things might switch up over the weekend. So I just wanted to add a position uh, quickly. So and I was kind of busy before that. So, yeah. So mm, let's see. So that was 90 shares. And then I bought Banksa. So about 15 shares at 634. Um, it's a bit higher than when we got in, but it's just to just nice to average up and then dmg i just started a position at 60 shares and if you look at the time it was really close uh to not getting filled uh but i think we got through and thankfully it was filled so we got 60 shares at 165 um once again 99 dollars a small position um just an entry to dmg uh, let's see. So DigiHost, I just added three more shares at, this was supposed to be 201, but when you're rushing World Simple or any of these trading platforms to clear these uh, fill orders, uh, the last second, I think I had like 20 seconds left to go. That's the problem. You sometimes get a higher like four cents higher but uh only about three shares so it doesn't really make much of a difference so i'm totally fine with that um yeah so that brings our total um net deposit to let's see three thousand and about is it three thousand yeah three thousand and then plus the uh plus the referral so three thousand and seventy five dollars so yeah, so we're, I think we're, we started investing a lot, but I did say that I would add $1,000 a month. So I think um, the next uh, stocks, next purchase would happen maybe in two weeks time. So I'll add 250, 250, and then add on every week. So I'll do that small increments every week. So I get a, an average weighted price entry price so uh, at least we'll have that advantage okay so with today we are really struggling 
with obviously because crypto is down um bitcoin was down i'm gonna see two no right here bitcoin was down today about three three four percent or more and then we're looking at another three to four five percent with ethereum as well so uh obviously with that uh it's gonna affect our crypto miners now it seems like the reaction it seems like is with the uh with the dip we're eating a lot of um the sell-off pretty much people are just selling and panicking and most of them probably have stop loss on them because i don't like there's no way institutional buyers are selling because that's the chance for them to get in more um add into their portfolio more so i think retail investors are just panicking and selling and then when bitcoin goes up our miners still doesn't really go up that much if you look at hut and bitfarm it didn't really go up that much throughout the whole week it's just struggling so if you look at the week it's still down look it's down one dollar and 52 cents 22 or 23 percent down in just one week so um yeah looking at a really good opportunity for pretty much all any investors to buy in right now um that's what i've been doing with these other companies is just get in at a lower position uh so in time i'm gonna have a huge return that's pretty much the idea of a down market and usually it's really tough for people to buy when it dips this much that's why just buy increments slowly slowly 20 percent here 20 percent there uh, if you're investing one thousand dollars two hundred dollars one week two hundred dollars the next week so you kind of get like a weighted average and take advantage of pretty much this uh opportunity right here so um uh, yeah so bingo is just killing us to be honest i mean all the general mix stocks are kind of down i mean most of them are down sense is down oxygen is down jamitica is down so uh yeah we're just gonna take the hit with this one um all all of my stocks are down i'm telling you guys like <laughs> like this um it's not it's nothing for me to panic because i know what these companies are these they haven't changed it's just people's sentimental sentiments on these companies like they just um, they don't do their research most of them just panic and just sell and that's pretty much what it is you just have to hold or you, you can just buy the dip and add more position yeah you can do that so um next was hive like i said hive was down today uh 7.4 really good opportunity to buy more shares of hive and hut was down six percent no news from these companies yet um i'm expecting like a quarterly update from these like at least from hut it's been a while since hut has a good good news they did the amendment that, that was that, that's nothing um let's see so bit farm right so we'll get to bit farm uh they did do an update uh it's a quick one so that's why i won't be doing a separate video on this so uh they purchased some new miners so it looks like micro bt what's miner m31s plus so that would be the 80 tera hash m31s plus right here now of course uh it's not exactly 80 tera hash it is plus and five plus or minus five percent so it could be 76 or it could be 84 depending on the temperature in that uh, data center or that room so if you keep it cool and really just manageable temperatures then you would get more hash rate so yeah um, profitability wise it's really good it's sitting at about 30 what was it 30 30 30 30 m 31 s plus uh, okay so it dropped down because of the bitcoin price but it's uh pretty good uh income to electricity cost is pretty good so it's not the best but still pretty good okay so they were they voted about um 34 
almost 3500 units and it's the same model and it's just coming in three delivery uh, times so april june and july so in q2 they will add 160 petahash and then in july q3 they will add 120 petahash so total of 280 petahash so that's what we're looking at and uh yeah so um so they are if you know about bitfarm they do rehab their uh, old miners so it says here when rehabilitated this equipment will restore approximately 80 petahash of uh, production to bit farms for a cap capital cost of approximately five dollars per terahash this compares to nearly 120 us dollars per terahash for new generation equipment on the spot market today providing a near immediate return on investment so that's what they've been doing with the older and mid generation equipment so which has been cost and effective because uh, the hash rate to power it just doesn't make any sense anymore because uh, if you look at the chart it's pretty much like using these kind of ones these kind of not not don't look at the companies but just look at the numbers like gray orange yellow you want green green so yeah um they're not really producing much hash rate so uh, right so with the inventory pilot program they are going to they've retained over 650 btc um and i have updated the chart at 650 btc and uh, currently valued at 41 million us dollars at a price of 63 thousand dollars per bitcoin and they are approximately they're adding approximately 7.5 bitcoin per day so that's what they're doing and they have an expectation of uh, about 1000 btc hodl uh, in their inventory in the next a month and a half so about 50 days and then that would represent nearly 63 million dollars worth of hodl and value pretty much to the shareholders now this would depend on the us uh on the bitcoin price at the time obviously it's going to change so we'll keep an eye on that and it uh, looks like hash rate will be increased to approximately 1.6 exahash by august at the prevailing economic as of april 15th this equipment would produce approximately 9.5 bitcoin per day so come august time we're looking at 9.5 and currently we're looking at 7.5 bitcoin per day so that's really good so big news with the stock market listing uh in the united states so i've done a bit of research um from past companies that i have um then the form f well, 40f um let me just go through this first so it says we announced our intention to pursue an additional stock exchange listing for the company in the united states so they're talking about their uh, otc listing the company has been continue continuing uh, to actively move forward with the nasdaq listing process having filed our 2020 annual information form we are now finalizing for submission for submission or what we're now finalizing for submission of our okay i was, I was wondering what the where the grammar went there of our sec form f 40 40 f an important milestone towards an our us listing on the nasdaq now it says we are now finalizing for submission now that's assuming that they have it done today and it's completed today if it's completed today we are looking at six five to six weeks um so five to six weeks for the turnaround for the nasdaq um for them to go through all the proper um legal and proper their own procedures and from my research it looks like about five to six weeks of uh before they get listed into nasdaq so assuming this uh, 4mf 40f is filed today we're looking at 
last week of pretty much Friday, last Friday of um, May, or first week of June. So that's what we're looking at for the NASDAQ listing. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that kind of helps kind of put a picture at where and when this could be happening. Now, of course, I want you to do your research on that part because I could be wrong and uh, my research was kind of limited. So and it's a sh short time span. So, yeah. OK, so next news was NDA, our next kind of. Um, I guess I've been adding a lot of Neptune lately, so um, Neptune's kind of holding off strong on its own. It's pretty impressive. No news, um, really. Like we did the uh, private placement, and it's it has gone up. Usually, this doesn't happen with DigiHost. DigiHost kind of just keeps going down, and Bitcoin price did go down. So I don't know why it just jumped um, this morning. That's weird. Anyway, I'll take it. Um, so they did announce at 5:04 p.m. just uh, a few minutes before this um, closing of the 40 million Canadian institutional capital race to accelerate growth so uh, that's a 40 million dollar private placement and uh, issued 29.6 million shares and warrant uh, purchase up to 14.8 million common shares at a price of 1.3 per share and uh, associated half warrant so um, so each whole warrant entitles the holder thereof Purchase one, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, pretty much, and uh, totaling another approximately twenty-six million dollars once exercised. So this is an additional twenty-six million dollar that's in the back end. Um, so this has a period of three years till April uh, twenty, April sixteen, twenty twenty-four. So. Uh, potentially, they could get up to 26 million um, Canadian dollars at that 1.75 exercise price. So, um, there's not much to it in here. Um, I will just go through what um, the CEO commented here. We are very pleased to com complete this equity financing well above our 20 day volume awaited rich price we have held back from doing any major financing since 2018 in order to minimize dilution to our shareholders that's nice um this equity financing marks an important milestone in the growth trajectory for neptune and this capital will enable neptune to rapidly advance its business plans substantially growing substantially grow our earnings and pursue a variety of new and exciting projects in both proof of stake and proof of work mining we are also very pleased to expand our institutional shareholder presence in the united states and abroad so that was uh kale modi the president and ceo so that's uh for neptune right there so um yeah so um with the challenge because we've been taking a hit um because may our main positions are in crypto miners um we've been taking a hit for the past two months yeah two months so it hasn't really moved much so which is um which is terrible but i mean it's kind of tough to do videos these days because cryptos are just it's going up but our miners are not reacting to it I think it's mainly because people are just uh, taking profits or taking out their position and going into these smaller altcoins. Because uh, if you look at the altcoins, these guys are just moving up. So company uh, altcoin like, uh, let's see, Dogecoin, it's currently just up. Uh, if you invested, uh, let's see. If you invested in the morning, I think it was around here somewhere at... Where'd it go? 
I don't know, 23, but pretty much 100% today, it looks like, which is crazy. Um, but we'll stick with the big guys, the ones that have a long track history. And uh, yeah, so Ethereum and Bitcoin for now. I am planning on purchasing um, the coins itself, but that's just in the a uh, little bit of distant future. So yeah we'll uh, look at that later later so anyways i think we're doing pretty good our portfolio i know we've been i've been adding money and then it's just ke keeps going down but um like neptune you want to kind of weighted average <laughs> cost to your portfolio so dollar average cost that's the name of the game right now take profit from companies that you're like doing really well in and then buy the ones that you have high conviction in and that are currently down a lot and then just load up there and you can bring the average price down and that's pretty much how you want to do it you don't want to look at your percentage gain you want to increase your shares because i've fallen prey to this many times and then even with bingo i should have taken more profit from it but that's hindsight 2020 like you know um like woulda coulda shoulda that kind of thing uh i don't want to play that game but i'm just uh saying that for you to for you guys to learn from my mistake um with bingo i was up a thousand percent hope uh pro i could probably take up uh, probably could have taken out 70 to 80 percentage uh percent of that and then just leave 20 percent and then when it came down more i could have just bought more at the lowest points so yeah um right so the mining difficulty mining profitability okay profitability went down right feel free to like and subscribe please uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, which companies you guys are doing really well in which companies you're struggling in uh, so we kind of we can kind of have a, like a discussion going on. Um, so uh, currently, I think my bingo shares are currently going down a lot. Um, I think most of my st stocks are just going down on a lot. So um, yeah. Anyways, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, please do your own research, guys. Um, I am really heavy into preaching do your own research because you make your own decision on the stocks you buy and you are responsible for <laughs> for the ones you bought so uh, you got to own up to it you know you can't be blaming blaming other people just because you watch some youtube channel and like you just bought it off them just letting you know but you gotta just fact check you gotta do your research you gotta look at if it, this is within your um if this is uh, within your uh, risk tolerance, um, that's key because if uh, if you are a dividend investor and if you want to invest in crypto, we're talking a way different game. I mean, crypto, it's really unstable. You could be looking at minus 30, minus 40, plus 40 swings, minus uh, plus 40, 30% swings. And with Dividend, you're looking at like minus 1% to minus 2. I mean, it doesn't really drop much. But then it just recovers right back. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, with the risk tolerance, just make sure you know what you're getting into. And prepare yourself by doing a lot and studying the company really well. So, um, yeah. Uh, this channel is a not really growing as um much as i was hoping it would so i'm just gonna pivot and switch some things around you'll see some changes uh don't mind the changes um i'm just trying to make it better um i will make the audio better i'm just waiting for uh the product that i'm looking at to be available and then i'll order it so yeah um right i'll change some things around with the thumbnails and all that stuff but uh only to, for me to just get more exposure pretty much uh i think i've stayed small account for a while so 
I want to get more exposure, so uh, yeah, I want to change some things around. So uh, don't be surprised if you see <laughs> some weird stuff, but I mean, not weird, but some different stuff. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.